There's little doubt that Gallagher and Rosebud fans will want to keep winning combinations intact, such as that which defeated Footscray last weekend, as well as recording two other good recent home wins. The players in doubt for tomorrow are Captain Joe Senkowski, Ralph Meyer, Dean Milosevic, who sent this great cross for Simon Brandt to score last week, and goalkeeper Clint Gosling. It's likely all four will don the boots tomorrow afternoon, giving Rosebud the opportunity to continue on as a winning outfit. And the growing support at recent games is happily responding. Tomorrow's match is another in the intra-conference challenge series in which Newcastle is performing so well. The afternoon of free music began with the Mayfield Salvation Army Band, one of half a dozen acts presented as part of the Salvo's policy of giving back to the public as much as they receive. Among the services they provide to the public are family welfare, food parcels, accommodation and counselling. To continue giving those services, the Salvation Army says it needs more money and is calling on the public to give generously when the annual door knock appeal is held next Sunday. The target for the Hunter region is $397,000, a 10% increase on last year's result. Yet if the Salvation Army reaches that target, it will still be $15,000 short of the money needed to maintain its present level of public care. The recession has placed a strain on its resources. Demand for Salvation Army food parcels, for example, has almost doubled in a year. The Salvos, however, intend to keep making people happy with both community work and concerts like these. Countless drivers, both women and men, much of the motor car still remains a deep, dark mystery. So in a clever public relations move, Ford, through its dealers, has organised one-night clinics aimed at giving drivers a little basic knowledge. The three clinics arranged by clusters are for women only, but quite a few men have voiced interest in similar instruction sessions. What kind of things do those attending want to know? I'd like to thank those three I'd like to be able to change the things like that. With slides of film and some practical instruction, the clinic does show how to change a wheel and explain why you wouldn't clean the spark plugs on a lonely road. As much as anything, it sets out to explain the symptoms of an ailing car and to help drivers describe them a little more accurately, rather than a vague reference to the thingamabob, when the car is brought in for service. Who's going to answer the question? With so many boards, committees and government assistance plans now operating, today's businessman can easily succumb to data overload, trying to see what affects his business and what initiatives he should be taking to make the most of available assistance. Four speakers at last night's inaugural information exchange covered such areas as investment prospects, capital work spending, taxation, exchange rates and the state government's plans to stimulate business. In his address, Alan Hargraves, who carries the title of Coordinator Infrastructure Development for the Hunter Region, said one of the biggest problems facing many manufacturing businesses in this region is that they have no products or services of their own. They've been built up just to service BHP. Hargrave said in a bid to help correct this situation, a second industry development officer would shortly be appointed to the Hunter region. For the meeting to More than 150 people attended last night's meeting, 
The majority uh, of Paraguay is unknown in their desire Americans to be involved in the organization of Newcastle's meeting. bicentennial so, celebrations. Uh, no in spite of local political infighting now, that's been associated the, with the bicentennial the committee. Decisions of the last meeting Perhaps because of awareness of political May, point scoring, the, the meeting, which should have been straightforward, be generated at times into a confusing exercise in public meeting protocol. Whatever the problem with words, I see that in time to come that there will be subcommittees within subcommittees, all feeding into that subcommittee. But if we go on with this proliferation of committees, we indeed will have the, the camel, which was a horse designed by a committee. In spite of the wide cross-section of the community present, there was argument over whether conveners of all nine subcommittees should be elected should be or that should else. wait until after um, the council so approved really, the subcommittees. Uh, that that would also it didn't help any when the chairman, Alderman Don Geddes, misread a show of hands in favour of the amendment, please signify. Against? I declare the amendment lost. I'll put the motion. All those in favour of the motion. <laughs> On a head count, the amendment to elect committee conveners immediately was carried. Eventually, those conveners will call for membership of committees which cover publicity, promotion, industry, Again. sport and recreation, cultural right, and historical the amendment, activities, the motion church, education, youth, community oh, service oh, and oh, ethnic oh, groups. Thank you. happened on the southern approach to the bridge at about 8.15 this morning. Police say the high ace milk truck crossed over the wrong side of the road and slammed head on into a fine truck, truck carrying well mesh fencing. The front cab section of the milk truck was crumpled in the winter. My boy's captain went and had to be cut free by the police rescue squad. The man, however, was dead on the highway. The driver of the other truck escaped serious injury. The bridge at the best of times is the bottom end, swelling the lean on the traffic. It was backed up about four kilometres both sides of the accident scene. Nurses in the region will take strike action or implement bans and limitations tomorrow. 24 okay, hour just stoppages will be held at Curry, Western Suburbs, <laughs> Belmont, Gloucester and Scone hospitals. <laughs> Staff will be provided. Other hospitals will be provided bans on certain duties. In a bid to draw the public's attention to the campaign, Cessnock nurses have decided to hold a march and rally tomorrow. The main purpose of attention will be on the statewide meeting of nurses in Sydney. Hunter Region delegates will be present to discuss the latest offer from the Health Commission. Nurses will not consider whether or not they'll accept certain concessions involving allowances as a means of implementing a shorter week. Now that the Falcons have made it all the way to this year's playoffs and failed, it's up to the Hunters to go all the way and bring home the South Eastern League trophy to this basketball mad city. They have the power and class of the big American import Buster Matheny to help them along the way. Buster had a tally of 50 points and 21 rebounds in last week's game against the Institute, despite some defensive zone tactics in the second half. He shot an amazing 74% from the floor. The Hunters also have Larry Davidson to lead the way and a group of talented youngsters who've shown that a spot in the playoffs is a distinct possibility. They must win just one more game to guarantee fourth place. With go though of their own big American star, so it should be a match to remember. Just barely short of target. tradition with medieval dancing, broadswords, lamb on the skin, and of course, buxom wenches. 
is being held in the tunnels at the fort and is a fundraising activity for the Newcastle Marine Archaeological Society. The society is an amateur organisation which normally investigates local shipwrecks and makes recommendations to the federal government on their preservation. Over the years, the society has collected dozens of items from wrecks off the coast and the money raised this weekend will go towards building a workshop to treat and preserve marine artefacts. Eighteen-year-old Simon Law was packing today, ready to fly out tomorrow from Sydney, bound for California and the World Amateur Surfboard Riding titles. He's the only Newcastle area surfer to be selected in the team of six Aussies to contest the Open titles and he's the youngest. The championships, which start today week at California's Huntington Beach and run for 11 days, are vital to Simon's surfing future. It's very important for an amateur, if he does well in these competitions, if he wants to turn pro later, well, it, like it only happens every two years, and if you do well in this one, it could be the, the future. When do you want to turn professional? Straight after the world titles. Which will mean, what for you? Means I will be able to travel around the world and be a professional surfer, which I've always wanted. Are you aware of the sort of competition you're going to face over there in California? Well, I know it's tough everywhere in the world, so I try not to really think about the competition. I'm just going to try and do my best. Do you believe you can get up there and even one day turn professional and be the best in the world? Yes, I think so. Late Macquarie Council obtained the idea of half-page newspaper spreads from Wollongong. Just under $2,000 will be spent on similar fortnightly ads in two local newspapers. But there's some concern about what should go in them. Alderman may be surprised yeah, to hear that the awkward. Mayor does not intend to use the uh, space to push the no Council's one, own barrow. So you're not going to be doing your own reporting? No, certainly not. Uh, we're neither equipped uh, or able to do that sort of thing. That's to be done by people who uh, in actual fact are in that uh, profession, which it is, uh, and uh, it's uh, not something that council would do. But there are from time to time things about which council has to provide detail, because the details are with the council. Unless a controversial issue persuades the Mayor otherwise, yeah, of news cut off the press from the council will be in the mild form of community announcements. In the way of advertising, etc. Good news over the news here. The doctors are negotiating and have decided to the union the movement and the federal government. Outside that, about 21.3% who were covered by concessional pay. People in the the doctors have taken towards it. Medicare Defence Committee members Deirdre Wicks and Anne Roach say the doctors' actions are undermining the central issues. I think there are a couple of very important issues that have been lost in the focus on the seven-year ban. And I think one of the most important is the issue of how much doctors can earn in public hospitals for their private patients. And that was one of the aims of this legislation, was there was going to be a limit put on that. And we used the analogy that it would be a similar situation if teachers decided to charge money in the public school system for private school students, and that they were allowed to do this with absolutely no 
no limit. So we think that's important to get the focus back on that. Plus the issue of the right of people to take Medicare insurance with no extra private insurance and not be penalised for that and not be put at risk of having any form of coercion or persuasion put on them to take out private health insurance. Australian under 15 women's soccer titles got underway at Adamstown Oval today. The tournament is being held over the weekend, and this morning Alderman Alba Tate officially opened this, and Newcastle was first under 15 national titles, featuring many of the top prospects for Australia's 1987 World Cup side. Nearly 100 girls from around Australia are competing, with the host side, the Northern New South Wales Magpies, tipped to go close to taking out the final. The side features 12 players from the Hunter and the Central Coast, and in today's first match, the Magpies showed they'd be a strong contender with a 3-1 win over Tasmania. Play starts tomorrow at 9 in the morning at Adamstown.